I am absolutely petrified. It's not for the faint hearted, isn't this? This is absolute hell. This is very cosy, isn't it? Do you mind? It's just rude. Welcome to Tintagel, the birthplace of King Arthur and where Merlin's cave is. Let's do it. This place is filled with myth, magic, and is about to make us face one of our biggest fears. I am absolutely petrified, I'm just going to tell you, it's, I'm not playing it up, I am terrified. Um, one of my biggest fears is bridges, um, driving across them, walking across them, I'm absolutely terrified of it and I avoid it at all costs. Um, I think it came from when I was a kid and there was this girl that got blown off a bridge, um, motorway bridge, um, when it were really high winds and I think that's where it came from. Um, and Reese always tries to calm me down about it, don't you? Yeah, I say it's fine, it's fine. And this one time we were driving across a bridge in the van and she was like, oh, I really don't like it. And then that, later that night it, it were on the news that a bridge in Italy had collapsed. Yeah. Um, and so you're really frightened, aren't it, you? Yeah, it really scares me. So this is like, what we're going to do now is like one of my biggest fears, absolutely terrified. And one of my biggest fears, because I am absolutely, to the point where my legs go like jelly, absolutely terrified of heights and from what I've seen on the internet this is quite high so the actual walk up to where you get your tickets is really really high uh, as well it's like you're walking on like a cliff edge um, so already I am uh, my heart rate's going up a little bit So we are just about to cross over the bridge now. It is really high. It's not for the faint hearted, isn't this? If you're scared of heights or bridges. I'm having a little sit down first. Um, it's taken quite a long time for me to get up here anyway. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not ready yet. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. so far down it's nearly over my eyes so don't lose it um that were an experience um and the best thing is we've got to go back and do it all over again <laughs> <laughs> it's really when you've got a fear of something it's really quite difficult to to do something in it to overcome it and uh yeah my fear is is heights or more particularly it's it's falling it's it's kind of the fear of falling really i'm cringing because there's people like literally stood on the top of cliffs and i want to save everybody and be like no stop being so daft but um yeah it's uh, i'm doing all right wasn't actually uncovered 
is. So that's quite interesting, isn't it? And they believe that they're part of the, part of the Dark Age, but they don't know exactly when they date back to. Oh, it. It's only loose. You can put it on the window, back it round, another piece. This is amazing. It's like a underground tunnel. It's absolutely fantastic. Cool, isn't it? So these are the ruins of the chapel um, and in 1351 the priest vowed that he would never ever spend another dreary winter here ever again. He used to get paid 50 shillings per year to hold mass. Now what we've realised is that we have to walk back across the bridge, obviously. <laughs> we should look. So apparently we uh, we go this way, not across the bridge. Which, to be honest, for somebody who's scared of heights, this is absolute hell. Emma's absolutely fine, because it's not a bridge. But this is seriously high, man. Come on! It's a really steep walk back up. Um, Emma's really struggling with the walking today, but there's two Land Rovers that actually take you from the bottom back up to the top. One pound fifty an adult, uh, so we're going to do that. This is very cosy, isn't it? Yeah, so we're in the, uh, in the back of the Land Rover now that's going to take us up to the top. We arrived at the top of the hill and went to a little craft fair to have some cream tea and coffee. Next door is a medieval farmhouse that's been modified over six centuries. The town itself has quite a bohemian feel to it and has a lot of independent shops that sell handmade goods. There were many Cornish pasties up and down the street and I can highly recommend the King Arthur pasty. So if you are looking for a King Arthur pasty, this is definitely the place. So Tintagel is, um, if you're wanting to come here, it's sort of North Cornwall, um, just kind of a bit lower down than Boss Castle. And it's quite easy, accessible, there's plenty of car parks, there's a little town with pubs and restaurants and things in. And if you're in a van like us, the car parks do let you stay overnight. But I would say definitely come, I'd say it's, it's worth it. We have um, an English Heritage membership card which you can get, which actually got us into that free. Uh, without that, it is £20 per adult. It was definitely worth it with the English Heritage membership card to go up there. Obviously, I'm absolutely petrified of heights, and so I did find it really difficult. I think the main thing is just to kind of get on with it and do it anyway, which is what I did, and Emma did 
so well with uh, bridge fear as well because that is a really she really does get frightened with that and, and i don't know what daisy is frightened of because she's never said up i cannot actually believe that we managed to both of us um conquer i don't know if conquering your fears right i suppose facing your fear isn't it i'm so pleased that i managed to do that today i wouldn't have got to see any of the stuff that we got to see if i hadn't have just done it so i'm so pleased that we did and one of the things that i kind of had on my bucket list to do personally was to play my flute in merlin's cave which so i've ticked that one off um, and especially if you're into like myth and magic and folklore I won't go I won't tell you the whole story of King Arthur because it's a whole kind of world um you know of of stories and and you know Excalibur and Lancelot and but go go and read King Arthur's stuff you know like the legend and the start folklore stories because it is good um and his magician was called Merlin which is where Merlin comes into the to it all so if you're into that kind of stuff it's definitely kind of creates that kind of atmosphere uh, we have no idea where we are heading next other than the fact that obviously we are heading towards Jurassic Coast we'll probably get there over the next two or three days I would imagine so we have just left Tintagel I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well I've literally spent our lives pronouncing stuff wrong um, and we are heading through Cornwall I think through Dartmoor and we're just going to go straight to Jurassic Coast and let's crack on let's get to, let's get started with Jurassic Coast. I'm really excited for Jurassic Coast actually, just because I absolutely love dinosaurs. In a quarter of a mile, turn left onto A39. She's, she keeps interrupting me as usual. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love dinosaurs and I know for fact that they're just going to be roaming everywhere. <laughs> and so I'm properly excited. I'm properly excited for this. I'm going to see a tri Tyrannosaurus Rex Take and a Triceratops. Do you mind? That's just right. rude. Reese is absolutely convinced that there's going to be dinosaurs roaming around on the beach. <laughs> I don't have art to tell him it's not true. So we have just arrived at Jurassic Coast, a place called Seaton. We're just going to go get some fish and chips and take them back to the van and eat them. Emma's with me, <laughs> as always. So we've got our uh, chips, chips and gravy I think we're having, Chips are we? and gravy because it's really expensive. Chips and gravy because it's really <laughs> expensive. And the only reason we're eating takeaway, which you probably think we do all the time, we don't. We don't. It's a very special um, treat. But we haven't actually got ourselves a fridge yet um, and with the weather picking up, um, a lot of our food's gone off. <laughs> Wait until we show you the spot that we're sleeping in tonight. It's epic. Look at him. He's cool, isn't he? Come with me, let me show you where we've parked the van for tonight. Wait till we see this. Wait till we see this, Emma. Aye, and it's free as well. <laughs> it's free. So this is the thing we always say, like, by all means, use campsites if that's your thing. However, the difference is you don't need to use a campsite. That's the difference. <laughs> gonna go out onto the beach and grab a beer um Reese is really excited about the beer that I've grabbed him haven't you yeah yeah it's I don't know what it is I've never <laughs> had it before it's some kind of like one of those craft beers or whatever they call them it's I'm not, a really not, rubbish one that they had in shop and that's all they had so. I'm, not, I'm not really a beer drinker but I'll have, I'll have a, a little taste of it a little can of it <laughs> Uh, this is what it's all about, isn't it? I was just going to say, what is your favourite thing about travelling? My favourite thing about travelling, it's it's cheesy this, isn't it? But the moments like this, like just sat here with a beer, looking out to see yeah. like the cliffs in the distance with you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, just this is it. This is travelling. And this is why I always say, and, and I do make a point of saying, I think we both do, don't we? Like, if you want to use campsites, use campsites. But I think the thing 
to remember is you don't need to and you're not going to get this what we're experiencing tonight on a campsite you're just not and it's not that scary doing it off grid you know it really <laughs> isn't i mean the first night do you remember that first time we ever went and we'd not stayed on the site which was like probably about 10 years ago now over 10 years ago now 11 years ago maybe yeah probably, um yeah. and it were it were really yeah. we were terrified weren't we, we were mm. petrified we were going to be knocked on the van and moved on or arrested or something um and we've we've not actually never been moved on ever never not um, not even you know. once not even not even asked nicely if no. we can move nothing not a single time and always safe what about you what's your favorite part of traveling um i do i love these moments i love sitting out on an evening that's my favorite time is evening i think the peaceful evening when everybody's gone home, do you know, and it's just you sort of sat out on a quiet little beach or in a little forest or that's my favourite time. But I think um I think my favourite thing about travelling is probably the meeting people, I think. I mean I love the freedom. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard mm. to sum it up because I love the freedom. I love being able to just jump in the van and take off or you know, even if we were on a train and we were backpacking, just being able to go wherever it takes you, wherever the mood takes yeah. you. But I think the favourite thing for me is meeting new people. I never forget people, um, you know, and, and obviously doing this now, people come up to us and talk to us as well, which is really nice. Um, so if you ever do see us out, please come up and say hello, because it's really nice. 